So previously we 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 finish we query data from database and then and then we finish our product I mean we finish our chart and then right now we'll be doing crude operation from WordPress plugin so so we'll be doing deleted uh, we'll be displaying the table so WordPress already have a WP table list and we'll be we'll be we'll be doing all sort of like all sort of adding a new data updating the data and then deleting the data so we'll, we'll be doing crude operations so currently you open your uh your your source code i mean finished project and then you you change that one to zero four zero four zero four branch Google chart adding WP list table one and then you are good to go and then move it to another screen. I'll open the CA data CA data and then and then you are good to go because we're we're copy and paste. So move to another another screen if you want or hide it behind it something else if you are using just one screen. So so we'll be going back to your your development. So we so we, we query data and we display it right now. Go inside the I uh, where go inside the include folder name. So that's make sure you select the right thing. Then make create a name and then call data table dot php. So give a name. So make sure you use the same name as me if you are following along. And because because sometimes if you are debugging, if you think something wrong, you you copy and paste the finished project code. That that's a that that's a reason. Otherwise, you you are free to do whatever you want. So so that's a PHP PHP document. So like we we started with PHP. So that's a normal thing. So copy paste copy if you are so we're creating the classes so we, we set up we set up a similar line by line so i i remove so we create a class so in php you you have to you create a class by calling the class normally it's a good practice to give a name as you are i give the same name as you are Binding, so that may so you you won't be confusing or you won't have a conflict when you are when you have multiple multiple classes. So that's the that's the thing we want, and then and then and then the first thing you need is construct. So we already know how to make a construct. So these are just template. This will be quick. So these are the so this is a constructor, and then we we want to make it public. And because we will be inheriting, that's the inherit inheriting. So you already knew that this is the object. So we inherit WP list table in our class. That's why we need constructor. And then you copy line uh, line 14. Line 14 to, to the end. This way do this way not do anything just for scale it. So so you copy the whole the whole I mean the whole the whole document that's basically what I mean so if you if you go around if you go around so these are these are the getting the columns from the you're creating the columns and then you're creating how many columns do you want and then and then these are the default column so like so so re read the comments so he, he already have if you want to go the you want to go that's it 
this is where I got a copy from. I I could I to credit to Burak Shes. Uh, hopefully I pronounce the right way. If not, please forgive me. So. So so I got a I got a template from him. So this is uh when you when you search on Google WordPress and I mean when you search on Google WordPress give you similar thing I mean. And that's why. So this this template is really really handy for you if you are creating another table, you know. So so that that's me, that's me calling the default if you are using ID or whatever you know. Uh, whatever whatever you have to be you have to be matched you have to put column and that's cool you need a column and that's cool so that's these are the these are what you're putting check boxes so when you let me let me go back so when you are creating the table and then you have a table and then you have a checkbox for multiple multiple insert I mean multiple delete or update or something like that you have a work you that's a WordPress so you have one two three ID and then you check 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 and then delete so these are the column ID oh, sorry. sorry correction so you have to use the same name as this two has to be same name. That's what it is saying. So these are the my command, and then we'll be we'll be I'll be I I mean you'll be you'll make sense when we are developing. So, so this is the ID. I was I was I was messed up with the other one. So whenever you use the whenever you use the you want to use the another column name make sure you match up with that one so if you are database say main kilometer you have to you have to use main underscore kilometers and then you have to you have to put column at the front and these are the bulk actions that mean you you want you can delete multiples you can delete either update or whatever you want in multiple things like in here so we won't be doing in this tutorials because we we don't need it and then you can do it by yourself so give it time trying to do that and so so that's creating that act i mean what kind of what kind of multiple things do you want and then this is the processing your action we won't be doing that one in ch this tutorial please be mind up these are the these are the column columns you buy you, you you want to be sorted so so if you either sort of ID or whatever column do you want and then by default I mean so that's it these are the sort order and these are the prepare items that will prepare your items so 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 you see that one you see that one go back to your uh, your tutorial and refresh So it will happen nothing because we haven't caught it yet. So stay tuned, stay tuned. We we'll, we we'll, we we'll come back for for the for the we we'll deep dive in detail detail and then we'll be we'll be doing it. So so hopefully so if you want to go back to the if you want to go back to the your your development. And then if you want the template for WP list table, so this is a template for you and then we'll be twist. I forgot to put re one return statement and then it won't. So so that that's a twist and then we'll, we'll sort it out in the why we are doing it. So that's it for today and then and then hopefully you enjoyed it. Okay, see you in next tutorial.